but those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Isaiah 40 verse 31 Welcome to Eagle M International Church. All right, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, everybody. We praise God you guys for taking out time to log on to the broadcast on today for all of those who may, may be looking at the replay. Uh, we praise God for you. We don't take you guys for granted because we know you got a lot of things going on. But uh, we're going to get right into our service. We're going to ask Pastor Clarice to take us to the throne room on today. Amen. Amen. Pastor Clarice. Amen. Let's bow our heads. Father God, we just worship you, God. We praise you on today. We thank you, God. We magnify your name, God. You are so worthy to be praised, God. Lord, hallelujah, we thank you. You're already in the midst of us, God. So we, we just welcome you, God. We welcome your spirit this afternoon, God. And we thank you, Father God, for the invitation uh, to come closer to you, God. Oh, God, anoint this message. Anoint, hallelujah, Pastor India uh, Taylor as she comes forth with your word, God, in the name of Jesus, with demonstration of your power and your spirit, God, in the name of Jesus, God. We thank you for your peace, God. Hallelujah. That's going to be manifested as this word goes forth. We thank you for the righteousness, God, that's going to come about. And we thank you, God, again, for your invitation. You're inviting us to come and sit down at the table, God, to hear a word from you, God. Thank you, Father God. We bind up every every demonic spirit god in the name of jesus we cut their cords off from the straw man and we thank you that this word goes for god with power and demonstration of your spirit thank you father god we bless your name god and we plead the blood of jesus we thank you for every soul that's going to be saved as a result of this word in jesus name we pray amen amen, amen. Amen, amen. God bless you, Pastor Mark. God bless you. Bless you all. Amen, amen, amen. We're going to have our scripture reading from 1 Corinthians 12, 4 through 11. 1 Corinthians 12, 4 through 11. And we'll have that by myself, Bishop. I'll do the reading on the day. I was I, I was requested to do the reading on the day by a certain person. So Bishop will be doing the reading. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 First Corinthians twelve, the twelfth chapter. Paul talking to the Corinthian church and talking to us also. Uh, starting from the fourth verse. First Corinthians the twelfth chapter, the fourth verse says this now there are diversities of gifts but the same spirit and there are differences of administrations but the same lord and there are di uh, diversities of operations but it's the same god which worketh all in all but the manifestation of the spirit is given to every man to profit with all for one is given by the spirit of, spirit of of the word of wisdom to another the word of knowledge by the same spirit to another faith by the same spirit to another the gifts of healing by the same spirit to another the working of miracles to another prophecy to another discerning of spirits to another diverse kinds of tongues and to another the interpretation of tongues but all these worketh that one and the selfsame spirit, dividing to every man severally as he wills. Amen? Amen. We thank God for the reading of his word. It's already blessed. Amen? Amen. We're going to bless you with these two videos. And then we're going to get right into the word Pastor India 
Taylor will be bringing the word on today, so I, I'm going to sit back and feast on what God has given.
offer you praise. We offer you praise today, God, for your goodness.
praise the Lord, people of God. Again, we want to say thank you for uh, coming into the broadcast on today. Praise God. Uh, evangelist uh, Denise pressed her way, not quite feeling well in the body, but we speak healing in your body right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You pressed away. And we praise God for that. People of God, there is a word. There is a word from the Lord today. It's not from me. It's from Pastor India on today. Amen. Amen. So we want you guys to sit back, pray for her as the Lord uses her on today to speak a word to all of us on today. Amen. Amen. Presenting to you my other half, Pastor India Owens, the matriarch of Emek, Emek Fellowship. We praise God for all that she is to this ministry and all that she is to me personally. Amen. Amen. Uh, she wants me to give her full government name. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Pastor India Owens Taylor. Amen. To keep people happy. Amen. Amen. All right, woman of God, come on and preach. Oh. Praise the Lord, everyone. I want to first thank Bishop for allowing me to come before you this uh, last Monday and uh, last let's say service in this uh, 2020 year uh, for December, right before uh, most people will be celebrating. Amen. Amen. The perfect gift. Basically today we're going to be discussing, or I'm going to convince you, that our perfect gift comes from God. And the scripture today will be coming from John 3.16, as you may have heard earlier. Let us pray. Lord, we want to thank you right now for allowing us to come together and be in your midst one more time. Yeah. Lord, we did not have to be here yeah. due to COVID-19 and other illnesses. We're just grateful that you allowed us to be in your presence one more time. Yes. Lord, we want to thank you and let the words that are coming from my mouth fall not upon deaf ears. But, Lord, hide me and speak through me and deliver the word for your people. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Like I said, the scripture is coming from John 3.16. As you already know, it says, For God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Today we'll be talking about the perfect gift. We'll be covering what is the perfect gift? How do you determine the value of a perfect gift? The purpose of the perfect gift? And how to receive it? Today, in society, we're in a season right now where a lot of people are uh, gearing up and trying to prepare to give that, that perfect gift. They're trying to figure out what exactly is the perfect gift. Well, according to John 3.16, the perfect gift is Jesus. Yes. Most people would say, oh, I'm going to the store and I'm going to find that perfect gift. You're walking around, you're shopping online. According to some retailers, they're saying that our perfect gift would be an iPhone or an iPad, technology, a new car, clothing. Okay, well, if it's a new car, as soon as that car breaks down, it only lasts for a while. Clothing, okay. Say you put it in the dryer and the tag doesn't say to do that. Well, that doesn't fit anymore. That's not a perfect gift. What about some... Um, a watch. Oh, that surely ran out in time because now we have smart watches. Well, what about, I don't know, we said that flashy new car that broke down? That's gone. Or you may get a gift that you didn't expect to get and you said, I wanted a car and someone gave you this toy. Well, that's not very useful. That doesn't help at all. Okay, I know. We'll get a gift and we say, we don't know exactly what to get that person. So we're going to get them some gloves. You know, the stretchy ones that we think is one size fits all. But when you get it home, it really doesn't fit everyone. It says, 
uh, fits almost everyone. <laughs> okay, well then we have to think about God's gift. All right. According to John 3.16, His gift is timeless, it's eternal because it lasts forever, mm -hmm. and it's for everyone. Okay, but the Bible says in Romans 3.23, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Then we turn to Romans 6.23, it says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Jesus Christ our Lord. See, God saw that we had a need, and that need was our Savior. Therefore, He gave us the perfect gift to meet our greatest need. Once again, if our need was information, he would have given us teachers or someone who was an educator. If our greatest need was money, he would have given us an accountant. If it was technology, he would have definitely given us a computer whiz because a couple of weeks ago, all of our computers were hacked in our school system. <laughs> and uh, if our you know, greatest need was to have fun, he would have given us entertainers. But God saw fit and he gave us his son. God knew our greatest need was forgiveness. Yeah. So he sent his son and our savior, Jesus. Okay, point two. How can we determine the value of God's perfect gift? Well, some people always say the best gift is the one uh, you have to look at the resource of the giver. Is the person giving the gift? Rich? Do they have limited resources? Do they have an abundance of things? Well, we look at God. His resources are never ending. What about the motive for the giver? Are they giving you a gift selfishly? Are they doing it to gain power? What is their motive? God's not that way. He gave us His gift of His Son unselfishly. He gave His Son out of love. How about the manner in which the gift is given? Did the person have a good heart? Or did they give it with hatred in their heart? Because you know some people give gifts this time of year. They really don't want to give it to someone else. But they're giving it for the wrong reason. They're just doing it because other people are watching them. God's gift was given in a manner that profits us. And it does not, it was selfish. It was selfless giving. And what about the condition that it was received under? Does the person we're giving the gift to really need it or not need it? You know, some people have everything. Some people, you have that one person, you just don't know what to buy for them. <laughs> it, it, we always tease uh, for some people who have everything. We say, oh, we're just going to buy them a mink toothbrush. That, that, that will solve the problem. Well, how about this? Everyone is in need and can benefit from this gift that God has. It's one size fits all. The gift of Jesus meets our biggest need. Then we're going to talk about what's the purpose of the gift. Well, God's purpose for giving us his son was to save the human race. And that man will enjoy eternal life. Well, here we go. How can we receive God's gift? Everyone says, okay, I have this gift. I know the purpose of it. I know that. Okay, what, what? how can I receive it? Well, there are different ways people receive a gift. Now, when you give someone a gift, we have to take a lot of things in consideration. Do they appreciate the gift that you're giving? Do they open it? Or they just put it away and say, oh, I'll open it later. Are they using it as it, as it was, uh, you know, as they say, designed. If you get them a tie, are they using it as a dog leash next week because they can't find their dog's leash? <laughs> Is it a not forgetting, forgotten gift? When time has passed, you know, they had it in the back closet. You ever look in your closet and you say, oh, I remember that sweater. My cousin gave that to me uh, five Christmases ago. I was cleaning out my dad's closet. And I found all the gifts that we had given him still in the wrapper. <laughs> Not for, you know, don't forget the gifts that people give you. So let's see. 
Have you received God's gift? Do you accept and appreciate God's gifts? Let's see. If you accept it, you can definitely benefit from it. If you appreciate his gifts, his gift of love, and what he's done for you, all you have to do is say thank you. Have you opened your gift of love? You have to receive it with faith. Have you used it as it was designed? Well, you know, in order to use God's gift, you have to repent and believe in God. Because it said you have to believe in order to have eternal life. Have you not forgotten what the Lord has done for you? Most of the time, if you ever get a really good gift, you're going to tell other people about it. But see, remember, God's gift will give you everlasting life. So you definitely want to tell others so they can receive the same gift. Are you willing to make that commitment and change your life? Remember, first, you have to get the gift to receive the gift. Accept it. Use it what it's intended for. Mm -hmm. And then, late, last but not least, you know, appreciate it so that you can receive God's plan for your salvation. So that you do not perish. Because, you know, basically perish means that you lose all hope in Christ. Mm -hmm. All trust in God. And all light of light. So try God and receive your perfect gift. And basically, that's me. Let's see. We're going to just, let's pray for a moment. Lord, thank you for your wisdom. We, we know you have many gifts that are described in the Bible. You give us wisdom, knowledge, faith, health, power, and prophecy. But the greatest gift of all is your son, Jesus Christ. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for giving your son. Thank you for your mercy yeah. toward us. We were all sinners and we definitely didn't deserve it. Thank you for your compassion. Yes. And you are truly worthy of all praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 God's perfect, perfect gift. Not necessarily, <laughs> I don't know why I want to say mink coat, but somebody must be getting a mink coat. Oh, don't, I don't know. I don't know who that might, <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know who that might be. Because <laughs> that's what came right to my spirit. <laughs> but that's not the perfect gift. No, that's not the perfect, not perfect gift. No, that's not the perfect gift. <laughs> Amen. For God so loved the world that he gave, that he gave of himself through the manifestation of Jesus Christ. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's the perfect gift there. Because it's his only son. That's yes. Right. Doesn't get any better than that. Doesn't get any better than that. We thank God for the word of God coming through Pastor India Owens Taylor on today. And we praise God for her. We, we pray that this be a blessing to you. Uh, we know we're in the... Um, uh, holiday season or the Christmas season and, and folk gonna be giving gifts and that sort of stuff and, and things are just not gonna be the same as it normally is. But if you wanna give a gift, you wanna give the perfect gift, perfect gift, give somebody Jesus. It doesn't get any better than that. Because that gift is eternal. Any other gift that you give is just for a moment. It's just for a moment. Jesus is eternal. Not only in this earth but the, for the earth to come. I'll let you, I'll let you uh, think on that one. Not only on in this, in this life, because this is not all, but in the life to come. Amen, amen. We praise God for my other half for giving us that word. She was up late last night working on that. I went to bed. That's because I had to do my Amen. But she was, she was working hard for the Lord, God. <laughs> amen. So we praise God for Amen. what God is doing in our life. Uh, we thank you. Thank you, sweetie, for that message. And um, we know it's been a blessing to you guys out there. Continue to pray for us. Uh, the Lord um, laid Pastor India in my heart for her to be the last one that you would hear for 2020. 
and we'll come back in 2021. We do have a word. We do have a word for you. God has already given us something. And um, we're going to stay prayerful. We're going to stay prayerful throughout the rest of this year. Because uh, God's got some things that's going to happen in 2021. And I'm not talking about a car and he coming on a Honda. That's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> he coming. Okay. It may not be on a Honda though. <laughs> amen. 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 But you guys stay blessed. Stay blessed in the Lord. Continue again to um, pray for EMEC and EMEC Fellowship. And for those of y'all who watch the broadcast uh, in other lands, we, we praise God for you. We don't take you for granted. Uh, I know you probably don't understand all that we're saying, but we hope you get enough of what we're saying to, to bless your heart. But uh, we're going we're gonna to present Jesus to you right now. Elder Mark Fennison is going to give us a brief altar call. We're going to present to you the, the perfect gift. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mark. Amen. Praise to the Lord. God bless you all. Thank God for the word coming from Pastor India. Just wanted to state um, some basic key things as it pertains to the Lord and his gifting. We know that God did love and does love the world in the giving of his only son and the personage of Jesus Christ. That whosoever believeth on him shall not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not descend into the world to condemn the world, yeah. but that the world through him might yes. be saved. Yes. Yes. And the Spirit of Christ, the Holy Ghost, he sent back after he was crucified, died, and rose again. So the best way, the most complete way to have Christ on the inside, the hope of glory, is by submitting to the Spirit of Christ, which is the Holy Ghost. The Jewish sages of all called him the Ruach, the Ruach Kodesh. We call him the Pelagritos in the Greek, yes. the New Testament Greek. We also call him the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit. Christ coming to live on the inside of you. Yes. I would put it to you this way, and hopefully this is succinct enough. If you went to a party and there were gifts on the table, would you leave the gift on the table that's assigned for you? Number one. Number two, would you leave the best gift on the table? All right, knowing on. that that gift will help you right. for a lifetime in this world mm -hmm. and in the world to come. To come. Yes. Sometimes people fight gifts when they don't understand their function, purpose, and their importance. You can be no more blessed in God than with the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. The Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit is not a denominational thing, as many try for him to be. The Holy Ghost is not a it. His gifting is a gift, but the Holy Ghost is he, God, coming to live on the inside of you. Who would reject God coming on the inside than someone who is even ignorant, full of pride, mm. or working against or God wow. himself. Come on, This is why we have to depend on the Lord and the Spirit of God mm -hmm. and the blood of Jesus and not the philosophies and the dictates of men and organizations. All right. The word sums it up this way, let God be true and yeah, every yeah. man be a liar. Won't you try him today so that in your heart and in your mind can be fulfilled the words that David said, oh, taste this see that the Lord, he is good. Won't you taste him today? Won't you allow him to come in? And won't you submit to him? Because he is the greatest power. And in him, we shall never, ever be defeated. God bless you in Jesus' name. And we love you. Have any additional questions? Contact Eagle M International Church. And they can provide more context to the statement that I've just given in Jesus' name. God bless you. Go in peace. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Mark, for that powerful altar call. He broke it down for you. Again, if you have any questions, give us a call or text us or face messengers um, in regards to this thing called salvation and the perfect, the perfect gift. Amen. Amen. We praise God for you. So until the next time, you guys stay with God and God will stay with you.
you. God bless you, you all. Stay safe during the holidays. Okay. Wear your mask, please. Wear your mask. Yes. Wear your mask. Stay safe and keep looking up for your redemption.